Hi chum, right, we're back again. And we'll just go for a wee drive now. And I'll try to show you this park assist thing as well. The power steering, it, uh, it gets lighter as you go slower and heavier as you go faster and it's, it's just weighted beautifully. Nissan have done a really good job on this. I'll go up this way here for a change, okay? So it's quite a nice day here today, although one of my mates asked me were we getting the monsoons like they were getting, you know? I don't know if I have the camera Make is. a U-turn if possible. Oh sorry, I've just turned this map off. Cancel. Okay, I've just turned it off. I thought, oh, I've got that camera in the right position. It doesn't look like it from here. Turn left Let's after 150 there. meters. I told you to stop. Right. I think I'll sit there now. See, anyway. So we're heading out towards Derry Ad now. And um, Derry Trasna. So. It's a nice, it's lovely out here, you know. It's really, really lovely. Um, we're, right, we're right beside Loch Ney now, which is nice. So what we'll do is we'll just take a wee run down here to Loch Ney and we'll let you see some of it. But it's a, it's a nice smooth car. It's, I don't really miss anything about the Mercedes. Um, it's also you're a lot higher up than I, I expected to be. Um, one of the things was that in the car we got, we test drove, didn't have the 19 inch alloys on it. So when I got this car, it was about like two inches higher than, or four inches higher than the other one. No, two inches higher. I was thinking the, the radius there was diameters, two inches extra. So we're two inches higher, plus there's something else that the suspension slightly different, raised up a wee bit. But um, it, it makes for a nice nice drive, you know. It's a bit stiffer, the suspension is a bit stiffer than the Mercedes, and I thought I'd miss this, this soft suspension on the Mercedes, but I don't miss it at all. It's, um, it's just dead on, it absorbs the bumps really well, just like that, you know. So, company down here that have big huge sand trucks and they uh, they come thundering down this road all the time you know and we're going to be heading around towards Loch Ney in a few minutes about one minute in time and I'll just turn, I'll turn the camera to let you see it I can see it from where I am here now but I'll have to wait a bit for get a bit further down to let you see it Lovely day. It's been very, very warm. We've been up in around the, the, the 30s and 35, which is up around the 90s, which is just too much for us. You know, we, we can't handle that sort of. <clears throat> but the um, it's cooler today. There's a bit of a breeze, a big storm that last night, and that kind of took a lot of the humidity out of the air. It's quite. Quite nice today. It's still it's humid, but it's not just as bad, you know. I want to be able to move this camera in a minute here, so I want to just. Well, that's the wrong one. I'm saying it's the wrong seven there. I'm leaving. Yeah, that's what I want there, right? I'll move this over in a minute. You maybe see. You maybe can see the lake in front of you there as we go down. So we're going to be seeing a lot in a moment. It'll be over on that side there, obviously, and turning the camera towards it. So you can see it there. That's the biggest freshwater lake in the British Isles. Um, it's very, it's not very deep, it's only about six metres deep. But it's very important for our economy and for our water resources. Get a 
the, you'll get a real good view of it down here now. So that's uh, that's Loch Ney there, and that's um, over at the far side over there is Arbo, and then there's the sand people there. I'm guessing with the cameras, but there's this, you can see the big piles of sand. That's uh, where they extract the sand from the lock for building. It's very, very good sand because there's no salt in it. So uh, it means that it goes straight to the builders. It's really good stuff. And then you don't often get to see the lock as clear as that, you know, but um, it's very nice. We get beautiful sunsets here because the, I was talking to a photographer about it and he said it's because of the fact that the, the light is reflected off the water and we get like a double, a, a, twice the amount of light and it just makes for beautiful, beautiful sunsets, you know? Right, I'll bring you up a romper now. A romper, what's a romper? A romper is a little road that was built on, this is all boggy ground here, you know? It's all bog land. I'll make the Americans feel happy for a moment here, look. Yo, now you all feel at home now, you American people. There you go, that's you feeling that everything's all right again. Um, so, the rompers were built by the Dutch engineers, came over here and taught the people how to build roads on soft land, on boggy land, because obviously they're experts at reclamation in, Ireland, in Holland, so, <coughs> excuse me, in Netherlands. There's Burns Rampart, we'll go Burns Rampart, and this is one of the uh, floating roads and they're built to, that they can just move up and down with the bog as it moves. And you can see they're only a car wide. And this will bring us back up onto the main road again. Hope you're getting the view there, okay. And this one's not too, this one's not too bumpy. Most of them you're up and down like a roller coaster on them. Let's we go, I'll get better move. Yep, yeah, there you go. So this area used to be about six feet higher than it is now, but it was during the famine, the people here um, did quite okay during the famine. They were very poor and they were very hungry, but at least they could sell the turf they lived on. So all the turf was sold during the years of the famine, 1845 at that time, and it reduced the height of the land by about six feet. So um, it meant the people here did better than people at other places. Even in the town beside us, Lurgan, there was a poor house in the town where people went to, to shred ropes and stuff. And it was a horrible, horrible existence. The land here is all, most of the land is down below the level of the road here. You can see here, we just stop here. I just pulled the ropes the wrong way, sorry about that. Look at the camera, the wrong way. But this works here. If you can see in that field there, let me. If you can see into that field, I'm just trying to get the camera to point into that field, maybe. In there. It says it's down lower than the road. Now, that's not a good example, but that's the sort of thing that happens, you know. Right, we'll get that set up there. I don't know what this is going to look like, but I'll see when I get home. And it's no good. I'll just do it again. Right, so we're going to head back home again now. We're back onto the main road, the the main aorta, and <laughs> through Derry McCash. Right. And we'll go home and we'll try to park assist when we go home. So they paint the sides of the road white because it, there's no street lights. So it means at night you can see where the sides of the road are. If you now if, if this is some other areas, you would see this and it would indicate the fact that there's motorbike racing. Anywhere they do road racing, they paint the sides of the road white to help the riders keep their lines and stuff, you know. And so they know where the road ends and they don't end up driving up, driving up a ditch. You can see in here, if you look into these fields here, I'm just going to stop here and just do a wee movement. Look, you see how low those fields are in there compared to us? So that's the same. I'm just going to leave that camera looking over that way. 
you can see there how low the roads are. We're way up high. This road is built exactly the same way as a romper. And it's very poor land here, you know. It's, it's not good at all. It's, uh, it's crap. But it's so boggy and horrible. So, but people can eke a living out of it, you know. They can, they can still do it. The people are, the people are very like, resourceful, you know. And uh, a lot of boys around here driving about in shitty, beaten up cars and tractors are millionaires. So, don't let appearances fool you by any chance. I saw three boys standing in the shop one day talking, and a couple of young fellas came out and they were laughing. Going, Look at them old boys in there, like, you know, and they were sort of laughing at them. And they didn't know them three old boys were all millionaires and multi millionaires. So, just, just be careful who you laugh at, because they could have the last laugh. So you can see the way you can feel, I'm sure you can see, you can't feel, but you experience the way the cars kind of moving about. That's the road floating, because they build the roads so they don't basically crack, and let them move with the, with the, 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 the turf underneath. As it gets full of water and dries out, it expands and contracts, so that allows the road to move as well, you know. used to have a concrete road here at one stage further out but they had to take it up because it, they just couldn't keep it in good condition it was breaking up all over the place because the concrete was too rigid the tarmac lets it move more I think you get a wee view of lock in the hay I know you can't see it there, sorry when I drive, when I drive up the ditches here, you know We're almost, we're almost home now. So what I'm going to do is, whenever I pull into the house here, I'm, as I drive in, I'm going to stop the car and put on the park assist, and I'll turn new people around so that you can see what's going on as well, okay? So, I'm just going to turn this here. Right now, 